Welcome to the Mike Les Farmhand Mike YouTube channel. A farming and outdoor channel that I started in 2012 that now has over 1,600 videos and thanks to you has over 180,000 subscribers with a hundred plus million total views and over 12 million hours of total watch time. I am filming and uploading new content all the time, so come along for the ride. Hey, and welcome back for another springtime video. In this video, I am near Greenfield, Indiana, out in the field with a white 4270 tractor pulling a more built strip till bar. That is Interstate 70 in the background just east of Greenfield, and the tractor is eastbound and down right now. This strip till bar is running ahead of the corn planter, so if you're on an every other year rotation of corn and soybeans, you can see this field with soybeans last year. They are running this ahead, so the corn planter is going to follow these exact same rows down. What the strip till bar is doing is making about a 10 inch wide row or working up a 10 inch wide area ahead of the corn planter, so you're not working the entire field. And he is putting on his fertilizer, so the fertilizer is going right in where the row of corn will be. Some of your fertilizers, such as potash and stuff, guys like to put on earlier, even the year before. A lot of guys will run their strip till in the fall after harvest, but of course you're bumping up against shorter days and weather becomes a factor. So some guys don't get it all done in the fall and they have to come in in the early spring and finish it up. And of course, some guys will still put some fertilizer on with the planter, such as their nitrogen or a starter fertilizer, but this just makes everything more productive. A lot of guys will broadcast their fertilizer on, but you're putting that across the whole field. This is just putting better placement in for that row of corn. He's finishing up with some end rows here. Once he finishes this field, he will fold this unit up and move on to the next field. You'll get a better look at the row unit when that happens. But if you look, there's some discs on this row unit. There's also a shank. Ideally, I think guys like to run that shank somewhere six, seven inches deep. So that gives that corn some loose ground for that root to go down and get started. And of course, if you talk to several different farmers about strip till, you'd probably get several different scenarios on how you're supposed to do it. Anyways, all as I know is I'm just out here to make an awesome YouTube video of a tractor you don't get to see too often. The white 4270 tractor was in production from 1983 to 1988. At the end of production, 1980, this tractor would have sold somewhere around $88,750. These tractors were powered with a Caterpillar 10.5 liter 6-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine rated at 270 engine horsepower or about 240 on the PTO. These tractors have a 16-speed partial power shift transmission with 16 forward and 4 reverse gears and a top speed of around 20 mile an hour. The white 4270 carries about 230 gallons of fuel in the tanks. These have a closed center hydraulic system. You could get these with 3 or 4 remotes, putting out about 27 gallon per minute total flow, and this tractor would have weighed in somewhere around 30,000 pounds. The 4270 was the largest tractor produced by White Farm Equipment. Now, there's been rumors that they did build a couple 305s or 310s as prototypes, but they never actually went into production. I was also told one farmer bought them at an auction and has those in his tractor collection. I don't know much more than that, whether that's actually true or not, but I'm sure somebody here does. And if you do know, feel free to leave a comment. I would like to know as well as some of my viewers probably would also. The day I was out here, it was very, very windy, so you are going to have some wind noise in this video. There's nothing I can do about that. I do have wind socks on some of my cameras, but when it's windy, the wind sock can only do so much. With that said, we'll watch them finish up this field, get folded up, move to the next field. I got on-the-ground footage, some drone footage. Enjoy.
And that's going to wrap up this video. Feel free to go down here, click that like button, leave a comment. If you're new to my channel, I would appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button and check back often. I'm always filming, editing, uploading new content to my channel. And if you want to see more of what I'm doing, you can follow me along on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Farmhand Mike. As always, thank you for watching, and we will see you on the next video.